Hi friends, my name is Summer Swallow. I'm an environmental educator at Pepperwood, and today we're going to explore Himalayan blackberry. All right, let's start by observing. What do you notice here? Did you notice those big, delicious looking fruits? Me too. In fact, I would guess that you've probably seen Himalayan blackberry fruits on your walks around your neighborhood, your local parks and trails because this plant is widespread throughout Sonoma County. Perhaps three out of every four blackberry plants that you see are Himalayan blackberry. But it's not only found in California, it's found throughout the world. I've seen this plant species in Oregon, Washington, even New Zealand. So, because it's so prolific, so widespread, it's probably a good idea to be able to recognize this plant because it might be growing in your neighborhood right now. To become familiar with a new plant, the first part that I look at are the leaves. This plant is evergreen, so there should always be leaves to observe. What do you notice about these leaves? I notice there's a grouping of like five little round leaves together. Do you see that? Typically Himalayan blackberry has five leaflets, but sometimes there's only three. What else do you notice? What about the shape of those leaflets? Do they remind you of anything? To me, they look round like an egg. So I think of Himalayan blackberry as having egg shaped leaflets with jagged edges and a pointy tip. In botanical terms, the leaflets have an ovate shape with serrate margins. That's right, it's not just binder paper that has margins. As long as we're zoomed in here, there's another classic feature of Himalayan blackberry, which you've likely encountered if you've ever harvested the fruit. And you probably guessed it, it's those pokey things. Commonly called thorns, in botanical terms, they are prickles. So I wonder why blackberries would have these prickles, these pokey parts. Well, plants can't run away from critters or us humans that may want to eat the fruit or nibble on those young leaves. So these prickles are an extra layer of protection. And these pokey bits are everywhere on the plant, even the underside of leaves. So be careful if you decide to touch this plant. The last and maybe most important thing to help you recognize Himalayan blackberry is how and where it grows. I mentioned earlier it can grow almost everywhere, which is good for it, but not so great for other plants. Himalayan blackberry doesn't share well with others. It may look small and cute when it first moves in, but soon may create a dense, thick wall where other plants cannot grow. How many other plants do you see growing here? This is why many people work very hard to remove this plant from their yards, parks, and trails. So now you have some knowledge to recognize Himalayan blackberry. Keep an eye out for it and continue to do your own research. Thanks for spending time with me exploring Himalayan blackberry. I encourage you to keep an eye out for it next time you go outside and for your nature walks in your parks or neighborhood. And check out what it's doing, what animals are visiting it and eating the fruits or the leaves, and how well the plant is sharing space with neighbors. Thanks again, and until I see you out on the trails at Pepperwood, take care, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!